Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. When we are summing up a list of terms, we can sum up a couple of different lists of terms. We can sum up a partial sum. In other words, we have a list of things we're adding up and we stop at some point. So that partial sum is always going to add to some number. Or we can have a list of terms that we're adding up and we add them up forever. We have an infinite number of terms to sum. For an infinite sum, it turns out there are different things that can happen based on what your terms look like. We say that a series converges if it adds to some real number. So here if I'm adding the numbers from 1 to 1,000, whether I'm doing that on a calculator or using a formula that I've learned, um, I'm going to get some answer at the end. I'm going to say that my sum converges to that number. That's my answer that I arrive at. Same thing here. I'm going, you know, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. A bunch of numbers stopping at 4,096. If I'm stopping at 4,096, that'll be the last thing I add. I hit the equal button, and that's the number that my series converges to. This is a finite number of terms. I'm stopping here. So converge just simply means we arrive and add up to a real number. We can also say that something converges if its list of partial sums gets really, really close to a number. Okay, so if I'm adding up an infinite number of terms that fit the pattern 9 over 10 to some power. Okay, so if I'm plugging in my first term would be 9 over 10 to the 1, which is 9 over 10, which is 0.9. If I plug in n equals 2, then my power of 10 is going to go up by 1. So my second term is actually going to give me 9 over 100. If I add that to what I already had, because we're summing here, so if I add that to what I already have, I actually get the 0.9 plus the 0.09 giving me 0 0.99. You can see what might start to happen, right? So if I plug in the third term, I'll have 10 cubed on the bottom, so my third term will be 9 over 1000. In other words, 0 0.009. If I add those together to get my partial sum of the first three terms, then I'm getting 0.999. So I keep getting an extra 9 on the end. If I keep going, I do my fourth term, that's 9 over 10,000, 0.0009. I add that to what I already have, giving me 0.9999. We continue this pattern on to the 10th term, to the 25th term. You can see by the 25th term we have a lot of 9s already, but we're going forever, right? We're going forever. So what number are we getting close to? Are we approaching some number with our list of partial sums? And yes, the answer is if we kept going forever, we would be getting closer and closer to the number one, beyond doubt. So many nines, we can't even count them, is really, really close to the number one. So we say that this sum converges to one, even though we're adding up an infinite number of terms, because of the pattern of these terms and what the partial sums do, this series converges to one. We say that an infinite series converges if the limit of its partial sums is some real number. As I keep taking the sum of more and more terms, if that number seems to be approaching some real number, then we say that that series converges. And if an infinite series does not converge, in other words, its partial sums do not approach, get really, really close to some real number, then we say that that series diverges. You can look at my series here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. If I kept going forever, not only am I adding numbers that are getting bigger, I'm adding an infinite number of them. This partial sum would just get larger and larger. It would have no boundary, so we would say that this series diverges. This is nothing like the series before where the partial sums just kept getting closer and closer to one. These partial sums would just get larger and larger beyond anything that we can count. We do have a way for a series to diverge without getting infinitely big. You can look at my example here. We have 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1, etc. Right? So we're alternating 1 and negative 1, and then we're adding those together. If I look at just the sum of the first term, obviously that's just positive 1. If I look at the sum of the first two terms, that partial sum is 0, 1 minus 1. If I then add another term, I have 1 minus 1 plus 1, that's going to be positive 1 again. And then the sum of the first four terms, 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, puts us back at 0. So you can see each time we add another term to the partial sum, we are swapping back and forth between 1 and 0. So the question then is, 
does the list of partial sums get closer and closer to some specific number? And the answer is no, it doesn't really get closer to a specific value and just keep getting closer to that value. It's jumping back and forth between a couple of values, so it doesn't actually get really, really close to some real number. And since it's bouncing around, we would say that this series diverges, even though the series does not add up to an infinite amount of stuff. Infinite arithmetic series, it turns out, are not actually so interesting. If I keep adding up an arithmetic series like 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10, you can see that these numbers are getting bigger, like my 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 list was, and so that's going to add up to something infinite. It's going to diverge. If I look at even adding up things that are smaller, right here I'm only going up by 0.1 each time, but after I've gone up by 0.1 millions and billions of times, I still have really, really large large numbers that I just keep adding together forever, and so something even that starts out small but gets bigger is still going to diverge as a sum. Um, if I go in the opposite direction and I start trying to make the numbers smaller, well what ends up happening is, okay, at the beginning we have a little bit of positive stuff, but then eventually all my terms are negative, and so I'm just getting a larger and larger negative quantity as I add those things together, approaching then negative infinity, a really, really big negative number as my sum. So this would diverge as well. Um, you know, all ones, again, if you just count by one forever, don't do that, but if you were to do that, then you're just going to keep getting bigger forever. The only way that doesn't happen is if I just keep adding the number zero. That's not very interesting at all. Just keep adding nothing. Of course you're going to stay at nothing. I guess that one converges. But really that's the only one. If I add anything else other than something that starts at nothing and goes up by nothing, then really all of these diverge. So in the instance of an infinite arithmetic series, these are actually not very interesting. What are much more interesting are the ones like we showed you that converge to one. That is an infinite geometric series, and those are in our next video. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you then.